Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Steven. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Today's video is a little bit different than my usual. I don't even know what my usual video is. I was gonna say it's different than my usual video, but I don't think it is actually, because my videos are just honestly like, they're pretty random. They vary, they definitely vary. Like one day it's like I'm in Dubai, the other day it's like, hi, this is what's in my bag. And the other day it's like, I'm at the beach with my friend. And then today it's like, this is my apartment. So it really does vary. So I don't know why I was gonna say this is different because every video is pretty different. But anyways, welcome back. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. I talk too much. I didn't even drink coffee today. I don't know what's going on. So recently I was having a little chat with someone and they asked me, why do you say stay hot at the end of your videos? And I was like, holy crap, that's a great question. I honestly don't know. I wish I had a story or an explanation or like, I wish I remembered why I decided to say that or when I first did, but I don't know, you know? Like God just put those words in me, stay hot, and I just said them and now it's just like a part of me, like stay hot. And I truly do believe you should always try your best to stay hot. Today's video is all about being attractive and ways to just make yourself a little bit more attractive. And I know there's gonna be people out there that are like, you know what, that doesn't matter. What matters is what's inside. And I totally agree with you. This video is not to be taken 100% seriously whatsoever, even though I really am sharing real tips and tricks. These things don't matter. What matters is like good health, happiness, and like family and friends, you know? Like th this stuff, it does matter to me, but like there's a lot of things in this world that matter a lot more. We are taking off the jacket. It's literally getting hot, and let's be honest, this is unnecessary. So my first tip with, you know, coming across as being more attractive or like, trying to be more attractive is having confidence. And I know this might be hard because trust me, I have struggled with my confidence. And I know it may not seem like it because people think I have it all together. In the past and still to this day, I'm working on it, but it's like a work in progress. You know, like everything's a work in progress. My confidence is a work in progress. But I feel like if you just show that you're a little bit more confident or just like put it in yourself or just pray for confidence and just like, you know, just literally pray for confidence, that will make you come off as a stronger, more like confident person, which in my opinion, everyone loves confidence. Like, you know, confidence is attractive, everyone knows that. So yeah, number one is confidence. Be a little bit more confident in yourself, love yourself, because you're the best version of yourself. There's no one out there that's you, so. So personally, I think it's very important to always smell good, at least when you're meeting someone, you know, or you're like out and about doing stuff because when you meet someone and they smell good, it's just like a lasting impression. You're like, wow, that person smelled good. Like, you smell good, you know, like that's attractive. If you guys don't know what Semperit is, basically I've worked with them so many times in the past. They are an amazing company and I'm just obsessed with like the concept basically, so I'm gonna tell you all about it. How Scentbird works is you pay $14 a month, and then every month you get to pick a new cologne or perfume, depending on if you're a guy or a girl. They literally have, I'm pretty sure, over 400 different fragrances, and a lot of them are high end. So if you're like me, and you like, you know, your Cartier cologne, you know, your Burberry cologne, this one's Cartier, it smells so good. This one's so good. But honestly, the Burberry is my favorite and they come in these little like travel size vials and then you take them out and look how big they are like they're really really big not only that guys but your first month if you use my code is only ten dollars so you're literally paying ten dollars for a high-end seventy dollar cologne like these are actually really expensive and that's why i like it because it's like you get a new one every single month but you're not paying that much imagine if you were to buy a full new like full-size bottle every month. That'd be like $100 every single month. But these are just so convenient. And even my mom likes them. It's kind of weird, but. So yeah, I love Scentbird. And smelling good, like I said, is very important. So smell good, kids. Use my code. It'll be on the screen. It'll be in the description below. Get your first month, only $10, literally only $10. Like, worth it? Yeah, I think so, definitely worth it. Tip number three to being a little bit more attractive is to always have moisturized lips. I cannot express how much it like grosses me out. And I definitely, like I'm a hypocrite, like I'm talking to myself. It grosses me out when I have chapped lips. Like it's so unattractive. Just imagine talking to someone and you're looking at their lips and they look like they're about to bleed. Like that's not cute at all. Like that's literally scary. So. Always do yourself a favor. I'm gonna do myself a favor. 
get Blistex medicated lip ointment. It's only two, three dollars and it's so good. And it makes my lips like not only look moisturized, but they look a little bit bigger, which we all know I don't need. My fourth tip, I don't know why I feel like I'm lisping when I say fourth, my fourth tip is to take care of your skin. There are so many different ways to do this and I'm just gonna give you two. One, face masks can just do wonders, you know, like leave it on for whatever it says, to, you know, however long it says to leave on and they do wonders, like I just said, to your skin. So this one is Glam Glow and then number two is exfoliation. Guys and girls, everyone, you need to exfoliate. And this is one of my favorite ones. It's called Better Skin Lava Mask love this company and I could literally use this every single day in the shower and just like remove dead skin because you know like once you remove the dead skin then you're left with a nice fresh skin layer so exfoliation is honestly more important than face masks I don't know why I said face masks first because exfoliation key tip number five is just to be healthy I personally think it's really attractive when someone's healthy and they're like drinking water and just like you can tell that they take care of themselves and they like care about what they're putting in their body that's just like attractive to me I don't know about you guys but just being healthy and just being like self-aware is very attractive so be healthy you know eat healthy drink tons of water and Trust me, it'll make you feel better and look better when you're like taking care of yourself. So yeah. Number six is getting your brows done. And I know a lot of people out there obviously don't get their brows done and they're like, I don't need that. I don't need to do that. Like, you know, which is okay. A lot of people don't. And if you don't want to, that's totally cool. But there's some people out there that would benefit from it. You never know. Like you could get your brows done and it could literally change your whole face. Like you could be a whole new person. Personally, when I get them done, I'm like, whoa. What happened? Like, who is that? You know? So, I don't know. Brows are nice. And if you get them done, sometimes they look even nicer. So, now for my seventh tip. I took some pieces out of my closet that I want to show you guys. And just that I feel are, like, some basic staple, like, you know, like, just, like, hot. Like, you know, like, ooh, like, you look good. Like, you didn't need to try hard. You know? Like, just, like, some pieces that I want to show you. They're right here, that's why I'm looking over here. So I'm just gonna grab them. So first is a white button down. I personally think this is like essential to everyone. Like you should have just a nice button down, button up, whatever you wanna call it. Makes you look classy, dressed up, just nice, you know, like clean cut, like fresh, just love it, like love it. Next is just a simple black t-shirt and you're probably like, that's so basic. But guess what, sometimes less is more. A white tight black shirt is just nice like it, it's just like simple I don't really know what else to say and then a white one as well just like black and white simple shirts love them obsessed like need 50 in my closet at all times everyone needs just a nice jacket that like you can just throw over a t-shirt like I just showed you you just throw a jacket over and it's just a jacket it was probably like a hundred and something but it's just nice, you know, like if I'm wearing a black shirt and black jeans and then I put this over that, it instantly is like, oh, like, damn, you're kind of like dressed up, like it's cool, you know? So I think a leather jacket is like really essential to anyone's closet, like guy or girl, you know? You should have like a cute like little like jacket you can just throw over and just like go out and just like do your thing, you know? I think we're on number eight. I'm sorry, I'm not really keeping track that well, but next is concealer. And I know people are gonna be like, that's makeup, it's for girls. But you know, I don't see anything wrong with hiding a zit or a pimple if you get one, you know? Like, they're not nice and they don't make you feel good. So what's so wrong with grabbing a little concealer and just hiding something, you know? Like, nothing is wrong with that. And if you feel like there's something wrong with that, then honestly, like, what's wrong with you? And that brings me to my last one. Well, this is my last one. I think that brings me means like I have a next one, but I don't have a next one. This was my last tip trick. So that means this video is coming to an end. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching my little how to be attractive tips and trick video. I hope you enjoyed this and didn't take it too to heart, you know? Take everything lightly. Take everything with a grain of salt. Because you're going to live a really stressed life if you don't. So again, I love you so much. Thank you for watching. Peace out. Stay hot. And I will see you.